Hey guys, it's Good Coffee Vibes here, Ryan and Daniel. And uh, today we're doing a special downtown Riverside video coffee crawl. We're gonna hit up mm -hmm. a few coffee shops and get a lay of the land, kind of give you guys some perspective and highlight some local coffee shops, give them some shout outs and tell you guys what we like about each one. Anything you wanna add? Awesome, yeah, we're doing this with one of my buddies. His name's Adam Schwartz. Um, he does a special coffee vlog, well not coffee vlog, a food vlog for Riverside where he highlights local coffee vendors. So we're kind of pairing up with him today. He's not on the intro video, but you're gonna see him on the video later on throughout the episode today. And um, the purpose of it is to just bring awareness to all the local businesses, um, which we're all for. We love supporting local. And so let's go check it out today. Let's go see the local coffee shops and let's do it. Taste some good coffee. What's up everybody? We're at Arcade Coffee in downtown Riverside um, and here we're on our our coffee crawl and we got a variety of coffee drinks here today. We got a, an iced latte. Ryan got some. We got a cold brew. Just simple cold brew. And then we're here, with my, and we're here with my buddy Adam. He got a straight black coffee. So Adam is really cool. Um, he's a local realtor here in Riverside and does a lot for businesses in the area. So I got the black coffee. It's super hot. They did a fresh pour over for me. Uh, good flavor. I don't need cream or sugar. Uh, it's a little strong. They only, for medium, right? I think it's more on the darker side, but they also have light. So I think it's a good taste. I'm always coming back here to get my black coffee here. All right, so I got a nice vanilla latte. My brother got some cold brew. Yep. Um, I'm kind of a frequent flyer here. I come here all the time. I'm actually super partial to this location. Um, I know the owner, I know his family, and they're really good and I love to support them. So um, any way this can get out, um, Arcade Coffee in Riverside is a really good spot. I'm always a fan of their ice vanilla lattes. I, got, I can't say anything bad about it. They're always really good. So I got a straight up cold brew here. The balance on it is really good. It's, it's super smooth. I don't need to add, feel like I need to add anything to this either. We love the coffee here. This is actually my favorite coffee shop in Riverside too. So uh, yep. I'm gonna try and be, I'm gonna try and be non-partial to the other coffee shops, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Yeah. Like most people drink coffee for like one or two reasons. They're like, one of them actually enjoy, enjoys it and the other one just wants to get their caffeine fixed to get, get yeah. up and go. And obviously yeah. like the best is like, if you can meet in the middle and get best of both worlds. Yeah. So that's what we're trying to do. Yeah, so Arcade, this is our first stop today and it's obviously more along the lines of your specialty coffee roaster and they got great atmosphere, great vibes. I mean, you look, there's a lot of people sitting out here. So um, thumbs up, let's see what the next couple shops have. Hey, what's up guys? This is stop number two on our coffee crawl today in Riverside, California. We're going to Lyft Coffee in Riverside. Let's go check it out. Check it out. It says they're closed. What? Closed for maintenance apparently. Closed for maintenance today. Oh man. Oh man. Bitch. Fail. I'm excited about this place too, man. <laughs> All right, um, since we didn't get to get in and have any coffee, I'm a frequent flyer here too. I'll tell you a little about it. They're more of a specialty coffee roaster. Um, it's really nice inside, the vibes. So carrying the narrative of kind of the different types of coffee shops and the different types of uh, reasons why people drink coffee, this is along the sides of the specialty like we were talking about. And if you really care about flavor and ambiance and really going to a place where you can hang out once COVID restrictions are gone, this would be one of those types of places. So yeah, they're both, they're a roaster also. So typically mm -hmm. when you get someone who roasts their own beans, they're gonna put a little, put a little bit more effort into that ambiance and specialty mm -hmm. side of coffee yep. drinks. Yep. Um, so yeah, these, these guys are one of my favorites yeah. too. Too bad they're closed. Let's jump to the third coffee shop. Let's go. I've never driven a van before. All right, 
right, guys, we're walking up on our third stop of the day. Well, Everybody say hello to our awesome cameraman today. <laughs> we never had a cameraman before. I know, we feel so cool right That's now. That's technically Not Adam's right. employee, so we got a cameraman we're today. following him for the day. We're feeling super, uh, super special. Also, side note, this is a third stop. We've already had two coffees. I didn't have any lunch, so I'm like on a super caffeine kick right now. Yeah, me too. Right? Yeah, we're like dying. <laughs> Wire jitters! So I got the uh, the drip, the dark, black. Like you know, I like drinking all my coffee black. Good flavor, temperature's good. I always get three ice cubes in it because it's so hot. I like drinking it right away. Uh, I'm a big fan of this place. It's not the most um, coffee uh, snob place in the world, but you know what? I like it more than Starbucks, so. Okay, so to Adam's point, he called us coffee snobs and he said our types of coffee places are <laughs> coffee snob places so yes that's part of the reason why we're doing the video today is because everybody has different coffee preferences one this is more of your traditional coffee place with darker roasts they wouldn't be categorized as a specialty coffee spot so <laughs> here i thought this would be fun adam tell us why you think we're coffee snobs because every time i have coffee with them they're like do you taste the berries i'm like no <laughs> i don't and then they have the pour over thing and they're like, do you smell that? I'm like, no, I, I smell coffee. If you heard him a few seconds ago, he says he likes to drink his coffee right away. That's probably why he burned his taste buds and now he can't taste anything anyways. And literally, it makes no sense. You just put it in the Keurig, pop it down, cup of coffee. It's as good as the pour over. It's the same, or the French press, all right? Someone's got things to do around here. That's why we think it's hilarious. Everybody likes coffee for different reasons. Adam falls into the category of just giving my coffee for the caffeine content and I'm ready to go. Yeah. So I actually like it. So the next couple places we're gonna go are more specialty coffee places and um, we can kind of gauge the differences there. This right here is an iced vanilla latte. It's generally my go-to. Nothing against this place again, but my preference is something a lot less sweet so I can taste the coffee flavor. Cause that thing yeah. is sweet. It's pretty I sweet. I tasted it. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Which so. depends what you like. If you want your sugar fix, yeah. come here. So here I probably would get a, a iced latte uh, with no vanilla syrup just so we have straight coffee and milk. What's up guys, we're back in downtown Riverside. Thanks so much for following along with the video today. We went to three coffee shops um, in kind of a partnership with my buddy, Adam Schwartz. Uh, he's a local realtor in this area and he's uh, doing a lot of food blogs to support local businesses over here. So we're all for that and we wanted to jump on board and uh, do that with him. But most importantly, hi. <laughs> Um, we wanted to do this coffee crawl to kind of showcase the different types of coffee that are available at different coffee shops and for different people's preferences. Yeah, so, so as like a recap, we went to uh, Molino's Coffee, which is like right here in downtown Riverside. Yep. We went to Arcade Coffee Roasters, which is more like that specialty hip coffee roaster vibe where they actually mm -hmm. roast their own coffee. We tried going to Lyft, but they were actually shut down. So um, bummer for that, but we at least got two coffee shops in. Yeah. My recap thoughts for this, um, you know, all the all every everything's good for you know everybody has their own taste and everything but for me personally i totally am more of a fan of that specialty coffee roasted vibe mm -hmm. so uh yeah. arcade was my go-to this cold brew that i got like adam was saying he can't really taste any flavors and the dip coffee difference but i tasted berries when i put this in my mouth <laughs> <laughs> so uh, that just won me over right yeah there. Uh, yeah, so that's all. That's yeah. my input. However you enjoy coffee, we're here yeah. to support it and yep. just wanted to showcase the differences. And yep. um, yeah, so we're just trying to support all the local people in the area and give them a shout out. If you enjoyed the content today and you enjoyed us, if you want to support our uh, little channel, please consider subscribing, Hit like, like button. Yes, please. And any comments down below on the video, uh, we'll yep. get back to you guys as soon as we can. All right. Sounds good. Huh? <laughs> we'll get back to you as soon as we can. <laughs> I'll start that over. All right, okay. <laughs> all right, so, all right, so that's it for the video today, guys. Uh, we, we circle.
All right, so that's it for the video today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Good Coffee Vibes is out. Thank you. Please subscribe, hit the like button, and if you got any questions, put it down below in the comments. Until next time.